Hi everyone, this is Lena. Welcome to my YouTube tutorial channel. Again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I tend to upload a video every Wednesday or Thursday. So here I'm using the insert that goes into the toilet holder brush. And I'm using two bowls, plastic bowls. And we're going to try and make a milk urn. So this is how I propose to make it. So just follow the video along. And you see uh, what a beautiful home decor piece and um, that's farmhouse that I created so here I have two inexpensive plastic soup bowls and I'm just going to hot glue them together but if you want them a little bit more sturdy and then obviously use E6000 but I'm just using a little bit of hot glue and it just sits on top of that little plastic container you can use whatever you have to hand or you can uh, use metal anything that you like this is what I happen to have so let's get creative so I have this back scratcher that's got a wooden handle and I thought they would make the perfect little uh, handles for my urn so I cut them down to size um, obviously you can get more pieces out of it so cut two pieces and you can drill some little holes on the end of your wooden uh, handles but I'm just going to hot glue some rusty uh, wire to the ends of them to create my little handles for my urn. So once you've uh, glued the uh, little metal pieces to the sides of your handles, just going to bend them slightly at the bottom. This will help uh, glue them down onto the top of the urn later on and we will do that later but first we leave them to one side. This is showing you how we're going to glue them down later. They're just going to go on the end just measuring them up. Uh, but first of all I'm just going to leave that to one side and we're going to start painting our little urn. So here I'm just using some chalk paint and this will be great as a base coat because uh, the containers and the plastic bowls are very shiny and plastic. You want your paint to adhere to the project. So we're just going to give our first base coat to our little project and then we can start blending all our colors. So I've gone in with a chalk um, paint which is more like a charcoal colour and I'm just adding a little bit of blotches everywhere. Now you can leave your little milk urn just as it is like this and it looks really nice if you want that sort of look. But we're just going to go a few steps further and we're just going to create a more metallic look, a more rustic look. This is the style that I like, but it's really entirely up to you. And all you're doing is just blending all the colours together until you get the right look. <laughs> I've now finished with the charcoal grey and now I'm going in with an acrylic paint uh, which is in the brown and I'm sort of just blending all my colours in and making sure that um, it's mostly all cover covered, some places are darker than the others so um, this will help 
uh, give it a more realistic look I want it to look really rusty so all those browns will come through once I apply the next color So if you look at my table, it's got loads of colours on there. I've got browns and charcoals and silvers and creams. And I'm just sort of rubbing the um, cloth that I'm using to uh, spread my paint, dabbing it in various colours and just blending them all in and to give it that real uh, rusted look that it's been sat outside for years. And that's the in, um, thing that you want to envision. You just want to picture an old, old rusty can. So just blend in all your colours until you're happy with that. And at the final end, we uh, to give it a really good sealer, I'm just going to use some silver acrylic paint. It's a very light silver and this will really bring out that rustic look on your milk urn. So I don't have a Cricut machine, so the next best thing is I printed a picture of the internet and I'm just going to use some of the words, uh, maybe the cow, I, I, I sort of play around as I go along and swap and change things. And what I do for this method is I'm just going to cut the uh, picture down to size, get rid of the excess paper. And this is carbon paper. And what you're doing is you're tracing that image onto your milk urn by um, taping everything down and then just going over with a pen and that will imprint um, the image onto your uh, can. So now that I've finished transferring my image onto the can, I'm going over with a very slight silvery uh, metallic paint. Uh, this is acrylic paint actually. And just a very, very thin layer because I still want the words to come through. I did get rid of the milk a uh, bit that I wrote. Uh, I really didn't like it on there. So um, I'm just making sure that areas darker to make sure it's hidden and just left the other words exposed which is fresh uh, farm fresh and uh, 85 cents a gallon so I've just left those words at the top and bottom and I'm just going in uh, with a little bit of shading and obviously I want my words exposed and then later on I will get some rusty wire and wrap that around the can just to give it a little bit more uh, of an effect 
and then I'm just going to glue my little handles onto the side of the milk and by using some hot glue and just holding it in place. So once my handles were glued in, I went over with some grip paper and slightly sanded down some of the uh, can around just to scratch some things off and that will give it a more rustic look and it just sort of blends everything all together and uh, this is how it turned out. my tutorial it was very easy and very inexpensive to do you can create this beautiful home to farmhouse decor for your home using maybe items that you probably have around your home or you can go to the dollar store and buy the necessary items to create this look now you can do this on the big scale uh, this one is um, um, a smaller one but I did do a larger one as well um, just a little bit taller so it depends on you how uh, creative you want to be so you can possibly make a larger one which might be my next attempt I might try and recreate a larger one maybe a uh, three foot tall I'm not sure we'll see just watch this channel and have a look again um, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it jump back in uh, as I forgot to mention um, the other can I did a rooster and you can see it's slightly a darker version so there's different ways of blending your colors just be creative and the rooster was done the same way by using carbon paper and then I went in with uh, some brown acrylic and some white and then scratch some of the paint off to give it that sort of wooden rustic look and if you see in the background that's a little truck that I made from cardboard the same way that I did the easter egg and the uh, rabbit exactly the same so I did not do a youtube tutorial for that unfortunately but uh, you have others to see that uh, will show you how it's done again thank you for subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I next upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next Wednesday or Thursday on Lena's Home Creation.